Good morning and shut up. Don't even think about trying to talk to me. Wait, who wants to swap seats? Nah, no, you're all right. Ooh, swimming's tiring. Are your legs tired? I think they're OK. Yes. Quick massage before bedtime. Ah, tired legs. Oh. Come on, John. Oh, rub down. Um, the shift of lactic acid. Not now, John. Oh. It says here I'm going to work at a garage. Yes. Come on, me, a garage. Does that seem likely? What's your point, Mackenzie? I wrote to the local paper, sir, to shadow a journalist there. Maybe even write a few pieces myself. All right. Let me have a look. I get paid extra for this, you know. OK. It says here that Sutherland is expected at the newspaper. Case closed. Well, then there's clearly been some sort of mix-up. I don't mean to be rude, but... Look at him. No offence. None taken. What did you put down as your first choice, Sutherland? Airplane driver. And that is? Someone who drives planes. You mean a pilot? Do I? What was your second choice? Working with cars. Right. Have you ever wanted to work at a newspaper? No, sir. Have you ever read a newspaper? Not really. OK. It does seem there's been some sort of mistake here somewhere. Well, that's OK. Mistakes happen. Shall I go to the paper tomorrow? No. No. You go to the garage. It's all booked. Institutionalised bullying wasn't quite the work experience I had in mind. But I knew how to deal with bullies. I got my mum to tell the teacher. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be able to do something about it, Mr Gilbert. I'm sorry. Well, I just wonder what he said to them. I don't think he said anything, Kevin. Oh, come on, we both know well he must have said something. He had to walk back through the town centre sopping wet and barely clothed, Mr Gilbert. Huh. I'd hoped you'd take this more seriously. He wrote to the paper especially to get work experience, and instead I'm picking Frogspawn out of his underpants. Would, would you excuse me? Just, just for a second. Sit down, Mackenzie. Actually, I'm glad we've got this opportunity to chat, as there's a couple of things I want Shut to... Shut up! Sure. The headmaster, in his infinite wisdom, has decided it would be a good idea for the sixth formers to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. I'd like you to coordinate it. Me? Really? The Duke of Edinburgh representative for the entire year? Yes. I am honoured, sir. Thanks very much. Why me? You're a virgin, aren't you, Mackenzie? Sorry? A virgin. You haven't had full sexual intercourse. Um, no, I haven't. Well, there's your answer. Now get out. Maybe we should arrange a weekly meeting just to check on my progress. You can if you like, but I won't be there. Or maybe I could compose a regular memo with how it's all going. OK. Why don't you drop that in my pigeonhole? Great. Where's that then, sir? Any bin. Any rubbish bin you see in or indeed out of the school. Just pop all your thoughts in a rubbish bin and they'll get to me. Goodbye, Mackenzie. I've checked your texts. Despite almost making me vomit, they obviously weren't about the exam. Count yourself lucky. Yeah, I was texting a girl, sir. Well, good luck with her cart ride. All I can say is she can't be too keen because it didn't buzz once. Now piss off. Let me get this final piece of hell over with. What is it that, Mackenzie? Sir, I need to go to the toilet. Again? Yes. Well, you can't. Sorry? It'll be the fourth time in an hour. You'll have to wait. I'm pretty sure you can't do that, sir. If I have reason to believe you're cheating, I can. And I do. So I have. Now get on with your paper. Oh, God, no. Phil? Phil? Oh, no. Phil. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I thought it was a fart, sir. I thought it was safe. <laughs>